Rolling cameras, rolling cameras, rolling cameras. Hello and welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective. I had to throw on the NASA shirt because we are going for some space exploration in today's video. Good morning, good afternoon, good night from wherever or whenever you're watching from. This is the Future Space Collective where we explore the world of products for imagination. Art, decor, lighting, through technology, smart home technology, future technology, alien technology, in order to create feelings of imagination, inspiration, if you will, create a sense of mood, a sense of ambiance. Today, I'm super, super excited about the product we're about to review on the channel. Let's see if it holds its own to the price tag it comes with. Whoa! And here it is now, the Dark Skies DS1, let the adventure begin. So this thing was actually rated by Time Magazine as one of the best inventions of 2020. All right, where's my trusty sword? Here it is. Okay. All right, let's unsheath my sword and let's crack this thing open. So upon first open, that's what we're looking at in the box. What do we got? An instruction manual and we got it's, what is this? Look at this, look at this velvet pouch. Like, you know how I said it's the king of all star projectors? This literally is like the kind of fabric you would see a king wearing for their, for their cloth cape. Depending on which discs you purchase, they may come in the box already or they may be shipped to you separately. I have a few extra discs to try out. The discs look like they're the next thing up here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna very carefully take them out. And then this is the first glance at the unit. Oh, look at this thing. It's got some good weight to it, I'll tell you. A very good sign. And at the bottom of the box, of course, assumably that's the power brick. It's got this elastic around it. This is not your typical 50 to $100 star projector that we've reviewed previously. As you can see, there are a bunch of constellation graphics on the unit itself. And on the other side of the unit, we have a bunch of the control buttons. These are the instructions. We will go through that in detail later. It's all in those details, right? Even the power brick has the little logo on it. I guess this is where you load your disc into here. Fragile, do not drop. Handle only with the edges. Clean with the soft cloth with the little index. When not in use, put back in its case. Dark side faces down. Okay, so this is actually a case. So the discs, okay, here we go. So these are the cases. They just open like so. And it says to place the dark side down. It says not to touch the actual disc. This is what the disc kind of looks like here. Gently sliding. Something doesn't seem right here. Insert the disc tray by gently slide inward until it clicks. Do not force in big bold letters. Oh, there we go. So I had a little bit of trouble there the first time trying to get the, the tray back in, but it should it should really should slide in rather easily. If it's not sliding in rather easily, don't force it in, you're gonna break it. This is what everything looks like laid out. Very nice bag it comes with, with the Dark Skies embroidered logo. They have a variety of different inserts you can put into the projector. So let's blast off right now. Alrighty, so let's start with the physical aspects. The body itself serves as somewhat of a lamp, a night lamp, a table lamp, if you will, with the moon button on the base to turn on and off this lamp. You can also dim or brighten the lamp by simply long pressing this same moon button. And it is actually quite a nice looking lamp along with the millions of stars printed right on the body to see, 
that somewhat foreshadows the projection pattern of the 4.1 million star chrome disc that does come with the unit. So on the bottom of the unit, there's a heat sink with a fan that kicks on if the unit gets too hot. I really like the look of this, the aesthetic of it, you know, with the lights spilling out, it does look really spaceship-like, really futuristic-like. It really does complete the whole vibe. Same with the top of the unit, you know, where we have our projector lens and our rotating shooting star head. It's also really elegant looking. It's protected behind a dome-shaped piece of hard plastic. The whole unit is attached on a single rotating axis on the arm so you can point and angle the body at your projection surface. On this arm, on the other side of it, we have our main control buttons, which are nicely illuminated so you can see them in complete darkness. The light bulb in the middle will power on and off the main projector unit. You can also long press this again to dim or brighten the main projection. Button at the bottom is to turn on or off the shooting star function. The top button here, the rotating arrows, will turn on and off our rotation of the disc with the option to select forward rotation or reverse rotation. The button to the right here, the little rabbit, controls the speed of that rotation with three options of slow, medium, and fast. And finally, the hourglass sets a shutoff timer. Press it once, you have a 30 minute timer. Press it twice, you have a 60 minute shutoff timer. And in terms of projection options, there's a huge collection of discs directly made by Dark Skies that you can purchase from the website from different planets to galaxies to even underwater stuff. So they really do have a vast collection of different scenes you can purchase. So let's take a look now at the projector in action with a few various discs that I've picked up. All right, so it's time for my final wrap up, my final thoughts here overall on the Dark Skies DS1. So let's talk a little bit about the functionality of it. So I have to say, you will have to be in a completely dark environment to use this projector. It's almost essential and I was somewhat thrown off when I first tried to use this because I didn't realize you really did have to be in a dark room to experience what the projector has to offer, especially with the chrome disc. The chrome disc also absorbs a lot of the light itself, so it's also more dim than the regular discs. So keep that in mind. You know, it's not really gonna work if you have other, you know, ambient lights or lamps on. You're gonna have to shut everything off. Another tip I would say is it's going to work best if you're projecting it at a white ceiling or a white surface. You know, I have gray concrete ceilings here at my studio and it did absorb some of the light. So I had to test it on a white ceiling and it really did have a much greater, a much brighter uh, feel and, and, and impact to it. So the light will pop more and bounce better. I think it's a really awesome piece of equipment and this is certainly the best home planetarium you can find on the market as compared to let's say the Sega home planetariums, the Sega Flux. It's just got overall a more sophisticated feel to it as I would hope given its price tag. Bring the stars into your home. If you can't get up north away from the light pollution and you wanna try to bring that experience in your own home, this is a great way to do it. It would make an excellent bedside table lamp 
even given star patterns, the constellations that it has on the body itself as we've taken a look at. You can even turn it on every night before bed so you have something to look up to. It's got those built-in timers that would be really handy for that. And you can set the ambience of your room to whatever flavor scene that you fancy. So I should mention that the first 2000 unit run of this projector was completely sold out. So at the time of this video, they are completing their second production run of this projector. And I believe that is part of the reason why the price is the way it is, because all of the components are very expensive to assemble this thing, and they are making limited runs of it right now. You can purchase the projector direct from the Dark Skies website. The link for that will be in the description below, which leads me to my last thought that I'm gonna pose to you, the audience, do you think from what you've seen in this video and what it can do that it's worth the hefty price tag that it comes with? Drop a comment below, let me know. This is the Future Space Collective where we explore the world of products for imagination. Please help support the channel in whatever way you can by engaging with the videos. Subscribe, comment, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated and we can grow this thing bigger funkier videos, who knows, the whole bit. Thanks for watching.